Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Capricorns, okay? So all Capricorn placements, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Capricorn, then this reading is for Jewel, okay? Lighting the sage, cleansing the space. Give me one second. Give me one second. Capricorn. All right. Bear with you, gear. I hope that you guys are doing well. And in the event that you are not, I pray that we can transmute that energy here and now, love. All right. Let us see. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages for Capricorn? What are the messages for Capricorn? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So, someone has their eye on you, Capricorn, with this four of spades. Okay? Someone has their eye on you here. All right. I feel like this is someone who is wanting well for you. The sage is all over the place. Someone who is uh, wanting well for you here. Okay, I feel like things are going really, really good for you at this time. Yeah, the things that you're wanting, you're getting. Okay, it's like fulfillment of everything that you desire is exactly what you're getting right now, especially with these two energies right next to each other. Okay, this is also to like, how do I put it? Um, for those of you who, how do I put this? Uh, do magic, do rituals, do spell work, work with the moon or anything like that. All right. Some things that maybe you've been desiring are going to come into fruition. Okay. It's not really another way to put it other than to say it. So I hope I'm not scaring some of you. Okay. But that's what I'm seeing here for someone. All right. The things that you've been writing down in your rituals are coming to pass. Okay. We have the 10 of spades here. Hmm. So some family disagreements, some disappointments as well here with the Ten of Diamonds. Okay. But nevertheless, it's looking like things are going really, really well on your end. Like the things that you want, you're getting, but there are some things around you that perhaps are not so exciting, not so great. Okay. But you're still keeping it moving, keeping it going. I see you getting lots of good news here. Okay. With this Jack of Diamonds. And then we have the Jack of Hearts. So whatever this is, is something that maybe you're not expecting this good news. Okay. But it comes anyway, maybe because someone heard of you or you know, someone thinks you would be great for something. It's something like that. Like you get something offered to you that maybe you didn't put yourself into. You didn't apply for. You didn't even know about. But it comes out of nowhere. Okay. Once again, I feel like this is because of the vibration that you're on. Some of you are doing rituals and written magic and spells and all of that. Okay. Is what I'm seeing. So now for those of you who are not doing that. Well, that part doesn't apply, hunty. But overall, you're getting the things that you want right now. So it looks really good, Capricorn. Okay. Okay. Other than, like I said, some sort of family issues or family things going on. Some things that might not be so exciting. Disappointment here, okay? Also, something about <clears throat> a funeral or untimely death or something, okay, coming up. So, my condolences. Someone here might lose someone close to them, okay, or something like that, okay? Okay. So it's like you're gaining another guardian angel or something. Okay. Hmm. Let us see here. So for our Capricorns, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So trusting your intuition at this time. All right. Yeah, we have the death card. Okay, so some of you could know that someone's time is coming. You could have known for a long while now. Okay. Yeah, someone's not doing good. They haven't been doing good for a minute. I feel like if there's something that you need to reconcile with this person, that's what you're trying to do or what you're aiming to do or something like that. Okay, let us see here for our Capricorns. We have the Sun card in reverse. Okay, the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person's not doing too good, you guys. I feel like this might be someone that you've had a falling out with. Okay, but 
you seen this in a dream or something like you I don't know some of you might be really intuitive some of you might be into this type of stuff because like I said someone here is doing rituals so I don't know maybe you're a very intuitive person okay psychic abilities are there you're using them here okay so what it looks like let us see for our Capricorns Someone that you had a falling out with, you want to try to reconcile with. It looks like this person is going to transition before you are able to do it. So, you know, that's unfortunate. And that's the message that spirit is bringing about. Like some of you feel like maybe uh, you were not a really good friend to this person or something, you know, because the King of Pentacles is your energy. The Three of Pentacles is about cooperation, being on one page, being on one accord. It's in reverse. Okay, so it's something here like that, right? Um, the Eight of Cups is in reverse, but you never quite got over it. Maybe they never quite got over it, okay? But it's something here that, um, <clears throat> like I said, maybe you're not going to get the chance to say something or you're not going to get the chance to do something, all right? That's what it's looking like. Yeah, we have the Two of Swords, okay? So the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, all... Okay, so like I said, my condolences, you know, the situation is not something that is going to be able to get resolved, okay, or what have you. This is something you feel like it's coming, all right. Spirit wanted to focus on this for someone, so maybe someone is going to have a rough time with this, okay. Let us see here. All right, we have the Justice card, okay. So... <clears throat> I'm feeling like this is you wanting to make things right because justice is about compromise once again. So that's just what I feel like for Pentacles is like letting go of a grudge or getting over something, you know, but not fully being able to emotionally detach until you make something right. Yeah, right. But it's like divine timing. This is also like an angel. So I said somebody might be gaining a guardian angel here. You get what I'm saying? We have the death card. Okay. What is this? The Ten of Cups, okay? So, like I said, a family member or someone who you feel like is family to you. Okay, we have the Lover's card here. <clears throat> a major choice, major decision, okay? Major life event. Something that does affect your heart in a great way, okay? Let us see. The Four Swords, yeah. Okay, it's like it's a um a transition. Someone transitions in their sleep. Okay. Before you get the chance to make that offer, like I said, or before you ever get to come through with that, you know, and and put it to bed or what have you. Okay. Yeah. I'm also getting some other things here too, but this is not a love reading, so we're not going to, you know. All right, let us see. Yeah, so we have the world. Okay, so a situation is over. A situation ends. Or like I said, it's finally, it, it ends before you basically get to make things right. But I don't feel like the person is upset with you or disappointed with you or anything like that. Okay, if that's what you were wondering. Or something that maybe is going to be on your heart because you feel like you didn't get to uh, say certain things. Or you didn't get to express certain things. Okay, um... I don't feel like the person is disappointed. Yeah, we had a page of cups in reverse. It's like you never got to reconcile. You never got to extend the olive branch. You never got to, you know, have that brand new beginning with this person. Um, yeah, so let us see the nine of cups in reverse. All right, what is this? We have the ace of swords. Okay. <clears throat> So I feel like, yep, that's, that's ultimately what it boils down to, you guys. Now, at this point, it's like going around and around with all the cards. It's just the same thing being said over and over again. So we're going to pull some oracles. We have no okay and no need to worry okay so once again i feel like that note is you know like i said they're not disappointed 
okay when a person transitions i don't really think they hold on to anything i think they let everything go from this lifetime you get what i'm saying as far as um grudges and things that they might be holding on to or whatnot you get what i'm saying it's petty things petty little things i mean you get what i'm saying things that affect our soul obviously on a grander scale will follow us into reincarnation if you believe in that sort of thing but i'm not talking about that right now i'm talking about little petty things right petty things the page of cups is like oh you know i wanted to make something right i didn't see no tennis swords here i didn't see you know no deep intense type of betrayal on the board right i don't recall seeing anything like that no I, I don't i don't see that here you get what i'm saying i feel like it's just some other stuff may have taken place but with no need to worry you don't have to worry about it though i feel like all is well okay so if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and hair grease